How often when something goes wrong, do you find yourself saying, I knew I shouldn't have done that or I knew I should have done that, that you had a feeling that there was something you either should have done or shouldn't have done and yet you didn't follow it. So many people say they don't have intuition and yet this happens over and over and over again. I hear it so many times from my coaching clients and what I want to show you today is a way that you can validate your own intuition and decide whether or not you follow it. Now, first off, let me tell you, I am not telling you to follow your intuition. I am not advocating that in any way, shape or form. You should not do it because I said it or anyone else said it. You've got to make that decision for yourself because you've got to take responsibility for it and that's part of what makes it work. So what I want to do is show you a really simple method to validate your intuition and then you can make the decision of whether or not to use it for yourself. Okay. I started out as a scientist and I still am and I really believe in the scientific method. So this is a really simple way that you can apply science to prove to yourself how accurate your intuition is or not. And so what I recommend you do is you just get a, uh, a log book or a journal or a scribbler even and every decision that comes up, it could be big, it could be small, jot it down what the decision is and jot down what that feeling is of what you should do, what you shouldn't do or whatever and, and whether you followed it or not. Don't deliberately follow it or not, just jot down what the feeling was and what action you took and then over time as things happen, jot down what the results were. And what you'll be able to find is how well your intuition correlates to what happened. For me, I'll share, you my, we'll share with you my experience, is I found it was absolutely black and white in my case. Every time I ignored my intuition, even though I was doing the logical thing, what made total analytical sense, something happened, caca happened and things blew up in my face. Okay, whenever I followed my intuition, even though I was doing the craziest, stupidest, most wackadoodle things, they made no sense at all, somehow it all worked out. There was not a single shade of gray in this. It was, in my case, it was black and white and so that helped me decide whether or not to uh, follow that. Now I've also had other instances where it's literally saved my life, my intuition on, on a few, uh, in a few circumstances. So for me, I absolutely will follow it, but that's my choice. What I encourage you to do is try this out. It may take a few months, it may take a, a, even a bit longer but really keep track of every single decision, what your intuition says and what happens and you'll be able to prove to yourself the correlation between your intuition and your success.